we're really curious where these fish are going in the ocean, what their migratory pathways are. So we've got great collaborators helping us answer that question. What do ocean movements look like for adult steelhead? But we're, we're even more excited, I think, about uh, trying to understand a repeat spawning of steelhead. So after a steelhead spawns once, um, you know, it has the ability to go back out to sea, go back through its migration in the marine environment, and return to spawn again. So we call that iteroparity for steelhead. But what we've seen over the last 30 years is a decline in, in iteroparity. So steelhead now are more likely to spawn once and then die. Uh, and we want to understand why, where the bottleneck is, and if it's predation, where is that occurring? Um, and so we're using these fish that, uh, you know, from the hatchery as a surrogate for the wild population here. So we're installing these tags, these satellite tags on steelhead, releasing them into the ocean uh, and tracking their movements. And they're doing similar stuff in river uh, on wild populations. And we're gonna compare the two, the hatchery and the wild, and see how those pathways differ.